Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Do you know how to spell donut? According to my trusty dictionary, there are two ways of spelling it. D-O-U-G-H-N-U-T and D-O-N-U-T. Which way do you usually spell it? I'd never really thought deeply about the spelling of donut before, but last Saturday I went shopping with my grandmother in a little town south of here called Pukekohe and I saw this sign. It says bakery, food, hot pies, filled rolls, donuts. I think they might be missing an H. The site I recommend today is lazydork.com slash radio. The site is for a podcast which you can download for free and subscribe to on iTunes. They've done 40 episodes so far and they're all about an hour long each. I'm a big fan so I've listened to all of them. The hosts are a couple called Ricky and Lauren and they just talk about random stuff that's going on in their lives. They tell stories and they argue about things like whether or not Lauren's mouth is close enough to the microphone. And I think it's very entertaining. It's very funny. I usually listen to it when I'm cooking or doing the dishes, folding the washing, going for a walk. And for English study, I think it's good listening practice for natural American English, especially if you usually listen to more formal interviews or discussions. I think it's good to have a balance and to listen to some informal stuff as well. Kia ora in stick news today, an unemployed truck driver has been busted trying to sell the Ritz Hotel. The Ritz is an expensive hotel in London owned by twin brothers David and Frederick Barclay. In 2006, a 49-year-old man called Anthony claimed he was a close friend of the Barclays and convinced a potential buyer to hand over £1 million for the hotel. But the sale never happened, and the money was never returned. Apparently, as soon as he got the cash, Anthony went on a spending spree. He's now been convicted, and will be sentenced on the 27th of July. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 5th of July. Kia ora. Today's word is sarcasm. I saw a billboard in Auckland a couple of months ago which I thought was quite clever. It was advertising a mobile phone company. It said, sarcasm comes across really well in email. Sarcasm is when you use words that are the opposite of what you mean in order to mock or convey content. In this billboard they're being sarcastic and they mean the opposite of what they say that sarcasm doesn't come across well in email. And their point is that you should call people instead of emailing them. Who's Manta? Ah, outrageous fortune. Is that his actual name? What's his name? Where did you see him? Was he in a play? Did you talk to him? Really? I saw Manta the other day. He's from Outrageous Fortune. No, that's his character's name. I can't remember. At the theatre in Papakura. No, he was in the audience. Yeah, I got his autograph. <laughs> no, I didn't talk to him. I was just inwardly excited. And then I went home and emailed my sister because she loves Manta too. The sudden start of something unpleasant, especially violence or a disease. A. Outage. B. Outback. C. Outboard. D. Outbreak. E. Outrageous. Outbreak. A remote or sparsely populated inland area, especially in Australia. Outback. A period of time when the supply of electricity, etc., is not working. Outage. Shockingly bad or excessive. 
outrageous. On, towards, or near the outside of a ship or an aircraft. Outboard. And that was The Daily Ingus Show. If you haven't seen our wall yet, go and check it out. It's looking very cool. And there are still some empty bricks left, so if you'd like a brick, just send us an email. See you tomorrow. Bye.